So I'm going to show a few steps to get this, um, this shape, this kind of torus shape that we could add some, possibly some glass that has some framing around it just to make two different surfaces. So I'll start just by deleting this shape. And this starts off with a box that we then extrude. We want to make sure that edges and faces are turned on so then we could um, make this object a bit smoother. Um, we could edit those. I think I've got, mm, that's about right, 9 and 10. I'll just leave that. So well, I might like make both of them 10 just to... Um, so we want to start by um, deleting these ends so we can join them up easily. So we go to Edit Poly. And we want to select the polygons on the top and the bottom and just delete them. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. Wait. Then we want to twist, twist the angle by 180. So we need to edit poly again. Twist. Twist. By 180. Then we want to bend by 360. Mm, might make that shape a little bigger, but first I'm going to rotate this so it's just on a flat. So I'll just change the original size. Yes. Change the height, make that a little bit bigger. about right um next we want to um so smooth out the object a little bit and create those two different surfaces so i'll just edit poly select the edges so first we want to um bind this shape together so those two ends are connected and it's a complete shape. So we'll select the um, the vertexes and then weld so that the, um, it's one complete circle. Then we want to make it a bit smoother so we'll go turbo smooth. A bit smoother now. And then to create that um, the difference in surfaces and split that up, I'll um, edit poly, select an edge, so select there, make that a loop. We want to extrude that minus zero point zero one and one. Yes, and then just delete it. And the same for the bottom loop. Right click, extrude. Yes, and then delete again. And then we want to go select the element. So this is the separated element that we want to um, change this surface to a different surface, maybe add some glass uh, and some framing. So I just want to detach this so it's editing it separately to the original object. So we'll go select the element and then detach. So now that's a separate editable element. We want to go edit poly. Oh. 
Isn't that letting me select? Okay, so edit poly. Then to add some pattern to the surface, we'll go um, maybe select just from these um, typology package, I'll just select this one. And then to make it um, some kind of frame transparency, we'll just right click. So with polygon selected, um, we can right click and select inset. I'll just do that by, oh, wrong one. So we wanna do that by polygon. So it's like in the in-between and not the whole, the whole thing. So it's just insetting it like a frame. There you go. And then we can just delete the excess. Okay. 